The economic impact of coronavirus has once again led to U.S. share prices tumbling. The declines pushed the Dow Jones index more than 20 percent below its recent high. It's a threshold that often accompanies a recession. Sharon will have more on Asia Business Report. Here in the U.K., the U.K. Chancellor Rishi Sunak has put aside nearly $40 billion in the budget to get the country through the outbreak. He warned of a significant but temporary disruption to the British economy. I'm acting today with a multi-billion pound commitment. More money for our NHS, more generous sick pay, faster access to benefits if you're self-employed, extra local support for the most vulnerable, tax cuts, loans and grants for businesses to protect people's jobs. Comprehensive action and if more in need is needed, I will take it. And reports from Iran say that the first vice president has contracted the virus. Iran reported 63 new deaths, its highest single-day toll, which brings the total fatality to 354. Meanwhile, India has suspended tourist visas until April and said it would quarantine travellers arriving from the seven virus-hit countries in an attempt to contain its spread. The government also advised Indians to avoid all non-essential travel abroad. Denmark, meanwhile, has become the second European country to announce a lockdown following a tenfold surge in coronavirus cases since Monday. Denmark's Prime Minister announced that all kindergartens, schools and universities will close for two weeks to slow the spread of the virus and events attended by more than 100 people will be banned. Juventus defender Daniele Rugani has tested positive. The 25-year-old has been placed in quarantine as the Serie A club makes checks on those who have had contact with him.